Look what I've just found for you two thirds. Megan dropped out of sluts, sluts, suits, something or other. Reunion at the ATX Festival directors discard the Sussex. Well, we don't care in Sussex. We don't know nothing about this reunion of sluts or something. Nothing to do with me. It would be 20 years ago, maybe, or even 30. All right, actually, it's more like 50. To be fair, OK. But it's, I didn't get I didn't get an invite. I didn't get an invite to that. So obviously they've given it to the mega light, haven't they? Yes, yeah, she's been dropped out of the reunion or something that no one really believes or cares about. And this channel, I do believe, I do believe, is something to do with the mega light, this channel. So we should jump in together and see who's victimising her at this precise minute on this bleeding food tube upload. Come on. <laughs> What's that, Lynn? Jizzbox. Jizzbox. <laughs> well, oh, I could say so many things, but I better not because I get myself into food too. Trouble. Apparently, it's called Jizzbox. Yes, that's... Even I couldn't have thought of that one. So, oh, look at the poor cable actress. Yes, she's been dropped out of the reunion. I wonder why. Let's let's have a listen. Come on, what's happening? Confusion and disappointment after being dropped out of the Suits reunion at the ATX oh. Festival. Oh. Suits, a popular legal drama series, was the show that catapulted... When you say popular and legal and drama, yes. <laughs> oh, dear, nobody had ever heard of it, but whatever. <laughs> Apparently, she was in Summit to do with Sluts. It was her biggest moment. It was her It was her moment in the sunshine. Well, it certainly beats poo spray and opening boxes. So, I'll give it a BJ or 90210 or whatever. Uh, and things like that, you know. It was her crowning glory, you know. She was in Slot Suits or whatever it's called. And, yeah, they're not letting her to the reunion. Oh, dearie me. I can't believe it. To Everyone needs to a mega light. It helped establish her as a talented actress. It did what? It helped establish her as a talented. Oh, dearie me. I just know this channel belongs to her. Come on, go on. It was her breakthrough role. It was her breakthrough role. The world fell it was her breakthrough bleed role. <laughs> it was a What role was it? Was it egg mayonnaise, my dears? Or was it a bit of tuna? One could, you have to have tuna with cucumber. You have to. I mean, it's like law is something. And if it isn't, it should be. Yes, she had a role in Suits or Sluts or something. Yes, she did. Apparently, it was on that grubby sofa. But, I mean, don't say I've said, no, because he had to take them down, didn't he? He put them up on X, didn't he, dear? Or was it Snack, Snapjack? Something like that. Snap a crack. Snap a crab. Instant pap. Something like that. Yes, he got himself into a whole load of trouble. Yeah, he showed the grubby old moth eating old sofa. Yes, where Suits was filmed with her in it. Rachel, Rachel Payne, I think her name was. Of with her character, Rachel Zane. Payne. The ATX Festival. Hello. For its celebration of television. Hello. <laughs> it's Christmas. You're going to be watching Shrek any day soon. You are. You are. <laughs> be free on Netflix. Nitpicks. It hosts seemed like the perfect opportunity for Megan to reconnect with her former castmates and relive the memories of her time on the yeah, show. Yeah, but the former castmates probably didn't want to relive the memories of their time on Sluts with the Rachel Payne. No, they didn't, because she used to be what was one called a pain in the bot bot. She did. <laughs> That's what I've heard. I mean, don't quote me on it. What's going on now? Come on. However, to her surprise, she was left out of the event. No. It hit her hard. Oh, it's you're not saying she was a victim yet again, are you? You mean to say they're having a party and they didn't invite the Megalite? Oh, my God. You can't have a reunion of the little no cable mattress actress. <laughs> when she used to play something and something no one gives a stuff about. <laughs> it's got to be her channel, something to do with her, this bleeding Mickey Mouse channel. Can't think what it's called. You'll find it. Oh, I'll, I might put it in the description. Oh, dearie me. She looks like she's just about to launch herself at the Bassmeister. Understandable that Megan would feel confused. You know her tongue's going to flick out any minute. That's it. <laughs> Sticky. Got you. <laughs> by this turn of events. Yes, holy one, my After dear. After all, Suits played a significant role in her career, and she dedicated several years of her life to the show. Being excluded from the reunion may have left her wondering why she was not deemed important enough to be a part of it. Well, it might have left her wondering why she was not deemed important to be enough of it. But I mean, most of us, most of us know. Most of us can guess, can't we? You know, 
true because if the mega light was there it would all be about the mega light and probably there'd be a load of complaints afterwards even though at the time it seemed like everything was going fine next thing you know she's on a podcast or an interview or written a book where she is in fact what one might call the victim so they haven't invited her and i just know this bleeding mickey mouse channel is something to do with her yes i do furthermore Megan's allegedly as a member of the royal Hello. family of brains with Hello. 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 I'm here. I'm in slats. I am. <laughs> I'm Rachel Payne. And they didn't invite me to the party. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> I won't cry. I think I'll just stand here and smile. And you can take pickies at me. You can. You can. Here. Here. But they've got to be from back grid where I get a bleeding cut of it. I'm not working for nothing. I'm not. You're not taking my image without paying me lots of money. Yes. And as for that Shrek. Yes, I need royalties, you know and attention that can sometimes overshadow her previous accomplishments as an actress. I'll just stop you there. What previous accomplishments were these? Can we examine them in depth? Because I've seen one where it's... BJ, Tom, I won't say it too loud because it's Friday. I don't want to be rude. And, and then there's another one where she's in her all together. Her all together, her all together. In other words, her knickers and a thong. I think she had something. I don't know what she was doing. Another one, she was opening boxes. Then she was advertising some poo spray. And then she was in sluts as something or other. She was always having sex in that, wasn't she? Honestly, she was having more, more bleeding action than most women across the globe, you know. In fact, I think she was taking one for the team, to be fair. Yeah, because he did look a little bit ropey, didn't he? Yes, <laughs> he don't care. What was that, Barry? I think I'm getting confused. I mean, don't quote me on it. The media and public are often more interested in her role as a duchess than her past roles on television. No, literally nobody's interested in her role, role as a duchess. I mean, what role is it? Is it a posh one? It's got, is it caviar? That's what I want to know. What is this role that is so plain posh and royal? No one knows. No one cares. This shift in public perception may have played a role in the decision to exclude You her. just know this channel's hers because that's her lingo, isn't it? Oh, it's changing public perception. No, we all know you're a rotten, bleeding piece of work. Go on, love. Reunion. Since her marriage to Prince Harry, yeah. there has been an increase in her fame and notoriety. Uh, we we'll leave it at the infamy. Infamy, infamy. The whole globe's got it in for me, you know. <laughs> and notoriety, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling that, I'm feeling that. Oh, look at me. I'm here. Yeah, I'll just have my lips done. Kissy lips. Or as that bleeding rude old bag in Britain calls me, bleeding. BJ lips, she calls them. What cheeky old bag, eh? Do they look like after... Oh, OK, yes, they do. To be fair, they do. Yes, so, yeah. Oh, dear, the poor Megalite. It is her every day of the week. She's got the same mantra as uh, Jada Stinking Rich, hasn't she? If you've seen all her interviews where she said, there I was, I was successful, I was happening, I was an independent, something or other woman, and there I met this bleeding well-known actor... Globally and internationally acclaimed, Will Bleed Smith. Oh, my life just went down the pan. It did, it did, it did. Oh, I've had to put up with it. Oh, I've had to live in his bleeding shadow. I gave up everything to be with him. I did. And this is a bleeding mantra, isn't it, as well? Yes, for want of a better word. Oh, there I was. I was successful. I was in sluts. I'd opened some boxes. I'd done some poo spray. I mean, interchangeably, probably at the same time in the same bleeding episode. I can't remember. No one cares. But I was so successful. And then, and then I met H. Yes, yes. And I don't know where she comes from. But around the environs of your London town, when somebody says, I've met H, it all goes a bit tits up and everybody starts ringing up the drunk hotline. They do, they do. If you are watching for the first time after the release of the first eight seasons of the series, yes. you may be wondering what the real reason was for Rachel Zane leaving the show. Well, no, nobody wondered, nobody cared, and from what we heard, she got written out. But go on, because it's probably her upload or something to do with her. Go on. This is a warning. Warning. It's a good time to talk about suits. There were over it's, one... it's never a good time to talk about sluts, but anyway, we're going to talk about them anyway. It's Rachel Zaney. She's so zany. She's happening. She's out there. She is. She's emancipated. She's authentic. She's all classy. She's quite organic and all, actually. Yes, she is. She likes vegan chicken. She does. They're veganarians. She only feeds them vegetables and she wrings their necks and eats them. She does. But she's like episodes that. episodes of the drama over the course of seven seasons. Yes, her character plays a huge role in the series. 
the ca character plays Nisha, character, all a character ever does is be rude to people, walk in, stop and bleed and have a little tantrum and then have a little bit of how's your father. She does, she doesn't care. Usually, usually in the office or up against the bookcase, my dears. She does, she does. I don't think she wore knickers in that show, you know. Yeah, and she didn't get written out. She didn't get written out. It just finished, didn't it? Basically, yes, it did. She knew it was going to finish. So she said, what I need to do now is I need to go to Britain and I need to meet somebody from every way is Chelsea or Britain's Got Talent. And none of them wanted to know her. So she married the Basmeister. And with that, open and out or over and out. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, I wish you a happy Friday or where is it a Friday? Yeah, it's a Friday morning or Friday, Saturday morning. I don't know where I am, let alone where you guys are. It's hard to keep up with you all. I've sent all the Christmas cards out. I've sent some out in the UK because I've discovered some of the addresses, but I've lost most of them. If you still want a card from me, poor old Gertie Wood, just drop me an email. Thanks to all the emails and all the nice comments and all my subs and this, that and the other. Have a lovely weekend. Have a great Friday. Bye-bye now.